So Packovers is a school where we teach uh, instrumentation, electrical instrumentation, and POC program. We train people in electrical. These are industrial electricians, which is a little bit more involved. You know, they do controls work, you know, automation, higher voltages than what the regular normal household will have. And then we do instruments, which is the brain of the oil and gas industry. So you have the piping, you have the vessels, you have the heavy equipment, but then you have computers that are also integrated into this system to where you can have automatic control, motors automatically come on, automatically go off, levels automatically rise, temperatures are automatically maintained. And then we also do analyzers, which that's a separate component. That tells the engineers that design these systems. If they design in the systems to make a certain product, well, they can look inside the pipe and see what's in there. They have machines that will extract a bit of the sample, analyze the sample and then safely return the sample either to a waste or back into the process and that's called analytics. The reason why I believe that they should get the training here is because they're getting trained by people that have relevant industry experience from a technician's perspective. If you're going to get the instructors that are tested and they've worked in the refinery so that they know the real life, not only do you get the, uh, the curriculum but you get the tricks of the trade. So as far as what they learn, they learn the fundamental basics of every craft. It's syllabus based, so we already have a, a structure of how I'm actually going to start teaching it. I mostly teach from the, from the ground up. In other words, just like you have prerequisites in, in college, our curriculum is set up where one subject ties into the next. So it's a progression. I would say the hands-on. The hands-on is probably the most important thing that we offer to our students. When I taught at the colleges, most of the time, 10% of the class would be hands-on. What we did here, we increased the hands-on to 50%. And so by increasing the hands-on to 50%, that meant that we would go over the theory in a more condensed and a fast-paced theory learning. So when a person comes out of this class, they've taken anywhere from 20 to 30 tests and certifications tests, but they've also completed the hands-on so that they will have a certain hands-on prescription that every single journeyman that's in the field already is expected to know. Typical day, come in, teach your module, give you a couple of hours to study, then we test you on that module. And after we test you on that module, then we take you out and we do what we call hands-on. We show them how to properly troubleshoot and simulate certain scenarios so that they can learn as possible as, as we can to the actual real base scenarios in the field. One of the things that happens with the companies is it's very difficult to, to train someone on these systems that are continuously running because oftentimes you have to shut the system down in order to work on them and they don't want to do that. It would take you four months here to get the training where if you're in the field it may take you four years because there's just not the opportunity. So we, we, we try to bring you from the ground up to where you need to be, to be at minimum first level or top level helper. So we're actually NCCR certified and accredited and that's what we offer here. So once you uh, graduate from here, you'll graduate with your certification of instrumentation. It's competency based. You must succeed in the curriculum, and the hands-on portion. And the hands-on consists of what you've just been taught, okay? So there's no way you're gonna leave here and not be able to be a functional technician. 